every weekend when I'm home in Kansas, I hear two consistent messages. The first one is that Kansans have had to become more fiscally responsible during this economic downturn, and they expect Washington to change directions and to do the same thing, to stop the reckless spending and to adopt a fiscally responsible budget. Second, I hear from families, small businesses, farmers, and ranchers that the best way to jumpstart the economy is to provide tax relief, to provide certainty that we aren't going to raise taxes so that folks can start investing and hiring again. And as a CPA who spent nearly two decades uh, specializing in tax accounting and helping people with their fiscal affairs, um, I can attest that Washington's books are a full-blown disaster. The reckless spending, the never-ending bailouts, the tax increases, and the skyrocketing debt are crippling our nation and our children's future. The deficit this year alone is expected to hit a, a record $1.4 trillion. Um, if we stay on this pace over the next decade, the deficit will be $8.4 trillion, and this is unacceptable. But the longer it takes to change direction, the harder it will be to dig out. It's time for this administration and the Democrat majority to stop spending money it doesn't have, to practice fiscal restraint, to stop raising taxes and threatening to hit folks with even more burdensome job-killing tax increases, and to get deficits and debt spending under control. It's time to encourage economic prosperity rather than killing it.